जय हिंद आई एम एन ओनर एम्प्लॉयर ऑफ इंडिया एडवोकेट खतीब वकी फ्रॉम सोलापुर महाराष्ट्र एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी सेंसिटिव सीरियस एंड डेंजरस सब्जेक्ट दैट इज मॉब लिंचिंग इन आवर इंडिया देर इज नो लो एज सच ऑन दिस वेरी सेंसिटिव सीरियस एंड डेंजरस टॉपिक ऑफ मॉब लिंचिंग इन इंडिया ओनली our honorable supreme court of india has laid down law on the topic of mob lynching in india our honorable supreme court of india has laid down the law on the topic of mob lynching in a very famous case namely tehsin s punawala versus union of india on 17th july 2018 and in this judgment our honorable supreme court of india has proposed three types of remedies and measures to curb the menace of mob lynching in india first is preventive measures second is remedial measures third is punitive measures in this video we are discussing the preventive measures against the menace of mob lynching in india the first preventive measure proposed by the honorable supreme court of india against the mob lynching is that the state governments shall designate a senior police officer not below the rank of superintendent of police as a nodal officer in each district and such nodal officer shall be assisted by one of the dsp rank officers in the district for taking measures to prevent incidents of mob violence and lynching they shall constitute a special task force so as to procure intelligence reports about the people who are likely to commit such crimes or who are involved in spreading hate speeches provocative statements and fake news the second preventive measure is the state governments shall forthwith identify districts sub divisions and or villages where instances of lynching and mob violence have been reported in the recent past say in the last 5 years the process of identification should be done within a period of 3 weeks from the date of this judgment that is 17th of july 2018 ad as such time period is sufficient to get the task done in today's fast world of data collection third preventive measure proposed by our supreme court of india is the secretary home department of the concerned states shall issue directives advisories to the nodal officers that means uh, district superintendent of police of the concerned districts for ensuring that the officer in charge of the police stations of the identified areas are extra cautious if any instance of mob violence within their jurisdiction comes to their notice the third the fourth preventive measure is the nodal officer so designated shall hold regular meetings at least once a month with the local intelligence units in the district along with all station house officers of the district so as to identify the existence of the tendencies of vigilantism mob violence or lynching in the district and take steps to prohibit instances of dissemination of offensive material through different social media platforms or any other means for inciting such tendencies the nodal officer shall also make efforts to eradicate hostile environment against any community 
और कास्ट विच इज टारगेटेड इन सच इंसिडेंट्स द फिफ्थ प्रिवेंटिव मेजर अगेंस्ट मॉब लिंचिंग प्रपोजल बाय आवर ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया इज द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ पुलिस द सेक्रेटरी होम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द कंसर्न स्टेट्स शैल टेक रेग्युलर रिव्यू मीटिंग्स एटलीस्ट वंस अ क्वार्टर विथ ऑल द नोडल ऑफिसर्स and state police intelligence heads the nodal officers shall bring to the notice of dgp any inter district coordination issues for devising a strategy to tackle lynching and mob violence related issues at the state level the sixth preventive measure is it shall be the duty of every police officer to cause a mob to disperse by exercising his powers under section 129 of the crpc which in his opinion has a tendency to cause violence or wreak the havoc of lynching in the disguise of vigilantism or otherwise the seventh preventive measure proposed by the supreme court of india is the home department of the government of india must take initiative and work in coordination with the state governments for sensitizing the law enforcement agencies and by involving all the stakeholders to identify the measures for prevention of mob violence and lynching against any caste or community and to implement the constitutional goal of social justice and the rule of law <coughs> the eighth preventive measure against mob lynching and violence proposed by the supreme court of india is the director general of police shall issue a circular to the superintendents of police with regard to police patrolling in the sensitive areas keeping in view the incidents of the past and the intelligence obtained by the office of the director general it singularly means that there should be seriousness in patrolling so that the anti social elements involved in such crimes are discouraged and remain within the boundaries of law thus fearing to even think of taking the law into their own hands the ninth preventive measure is the central and the state governments should broadcast on radio and television and other media platforms including the official websites of the home department and police of the states that lynching and mob violence of any kind shall invite serious consequence under the law the 10th preventive measure is it shall be the duty of the central government as well as the state government to take steps to curb and stop dissemination of irresponsible and explosive messages videos and other material on various social media platforms which have a tendency to incite mob violence and lynching of any kind the 11th preventive measure is the police shall cause to register fir under section 153a of the indian penal code and or other relevant provisions of law against persons who disseminate irresponsible and explosive messages and videos having content which is likely to incite mob violence and lynching of any kind the 12th preventive measure is the central government shall also issue 
appropriate directions and advisories to the state governments which would reflect the gravity and seriousness of the situation and the measures to be taken. Jai Hind.